Six months ago, our friends invited us to their graduation party in Switzerland. So after finishing our one-year trip around Southeast Asia, and then finally arriving home, we thought instead of flying to Zurich, we decided to just pack our car and do a road trip. And this is how it went. Look where we are! So we just arrived to the first location of our road trip. We're trying to go to Switzerland from Austria and right now I think this area is called Linz. And I don't know, today I just want to relax, chill a little. We, uh, we started driving last night and slept by the highway uh, and now just just want to relax enjoy this area maybe go for a swim a little bit the water looks really nice and have some food and we'll see what we do later After a refreshing morning by the lake, it was time to hit the road and head towards the Alps. Oh my god, look at these views! Oh, this is the National Park, right? I had to stop for this one. Oh my god. There's like tiny waterfalls literally everywhere. I don't know if you can see one like all the way up there. It's probably too bright. But wow, such a cool area. This is like the national park, right Bali? Yeah. Okay, I haven't done much road trips or camping in my whole life. And one of the things I'm starting to love about it is the fact that you could choose any spot to enjoy food. I mean, that's just great. Let's not forget about the surf. Oh, it's already getting dark. Gotta get going. We still got two hours. Two hours to go. And with no time to waste, we drove off to our car camping spot for the night, which we arrived pretty late. Excuse me, cow. Yeah. Beep beep. I guess you just beep walk. beep. And in the morning, beep, beep. it was just a short 15 minute drive to our destination. Good morning, sunshine. Look. It got clear a little bit more, so now you can see all of that. Incredible view. Lots of food. Yeah. This area, it's called Siletal. And we had to check it out after hearing how beautiful it is. I mean, as you can see, the Alps here are truly gorgeous, with towering peaks and amazing views. There's actually so much to do around here, from like hiking to exploring all the nearby villages. Today was kind of a cloudy day, so we just decided to spend the day just exploring the area. 
This place is absolutely massive. So, the damp is over there and I'm pretty sure many of you have seen like an Instagram video and I think there's a bridge that you have to hike up like two hours or something. It's like 600 meters high, I don't know how long exactly. And you're gonna see the famous pictures. We're not gonna hike it today because it's a little cloudy up there so probably wouldn't be able to see much but we're definitely gonna come back in the future for it right now we just wanna see the dam I've never been in one before so who are you sir excuse me sir where are you is crazy enough to do this one. Do you see it? You see the middle one. Yeah. yeah. Here it goes all the way here and there's a bunch of but this is insane. Let's do it Bali. We reached the end of the dam. Now we just make our way back. We're now at the last parking lot. This is pretty much the end. And apparently Valley read a blog or something that they don't, they don't recommend people to go swimming in this thing because it is apparently too cold. And I've been looking for the coldest water just to see if I can actually handle. So that's a great, great, great opportunity. Look, the water has to be very cold. It comes all the way from there and it feeds to the ones that are on the other side. Now let's see how cold the water is. Okay, it is cold. <laughs> it is definitely cold. Let's see. I think I can do it. So according to the information Valley found on the internet, the water usually is around 10 degrees Celsius. It comes from the melting glass glacier. Yeah. Oh, it's, probably, it's, it's never more than 10 degrees, so it's definitely less. I can definitely vouch for that. I already filled it a little bit. And the wind for sure is not helping at all make me want to go in there but I wanted to find cold water and here it is so After soaking myself in the cold water and failing to convince Valley to get in the water, we made a last minute decision to stay one more night in this area so that we could hike up to the famous bridge and so we did.
incredible view. There's some goats and some chicken. Okay. Look, look, buddy. They all come from there. Why did he stop halfway? This view right here is just absolutely crazy. Look at it, Bali. It's crazy. Look at it. I mean, woohoo! As you can see, you're never really hanging off of a crazy bridge and you know, the lake is just rocks and the bridge. But I mean, it's, it's really pretty, this whole area. So you can definitely play around and find your best perfect, angles, the yeah. best angle just to get that Instagram shot. But don't expect to be alone up here unless yeah. you arrive at 6 a.m. Yeah, now it's like, what time is it? Like 10, 9? I think it's like around yeah, 10 9, probably. 10, yeah. Almost 11. Okay, it's almost 11. Now there's so much more people. And everybody wants to get their shots, so. Oh my god. The line goes all the way back. With only three days left to reach Zurich, we knew it was time to say goodbye to Austria. As much as we wanted to keep exploring, we had to go on. Anyways, crossing into Switzerland it felt like stepping into a new world. I could hardly believe how incredible this place was already. And this was only on the first day. This place is absolutely crazy. We just had to make a quick stop right in the middle of nowhere. Just to show you this valley is just, wow. Switzerland is really in a whole different level. Oh my God, it is absolutely insane, man. <sighs> wow. Guess we find another beautiful place to cook some dinner. Anyways, after driving for quite a very long time, we finally arrived at a place Bali wanted to see for a very long time back when she was living in Switzerland. The moment we arrived, I was able to finally understand why. The views were absolutely incredible, like something out of a dream. And at last, we drove to Zurich where we finally reunited with our friends. Together, we set out on a mini adventure of our own, though you have to catch those moments on their video. But for us, this journey ended with a celebration, wow. attending a graduation party that marked the close of this unforgettable trip. Looking back, every moment felt meaningful. Each landscape and twist in the road, a reminder of the beauty and wonder that the world holds. These memories inspire me to keep exploring and make every chapter count, because we never know which will be the last. So to anyone watching, don't wait. Go out and explore. Seek the unknown, capture moments, and fill your story with experiences that will live on. Why are you recording? You and my friends right there. Better be happy that you cannot smell anything through this camera. <sighs> oh my god. It was a tiny fart. Tiny. You understand the word tiny? Cheers. <laughs>